Hello everybody, hope you are doing well. Well, today we are going to start implementing the data view. So we are going to implement this view. We will implement this nice image view pager. We will implement this title and the rating, the back button, the like and dislike. But first, uh, we need to fix an issue. I was watching the app and I see that uh, here, like you can see, we got uh, a padding to the left. In the complete app, we don't have this padding, so we need uh, to take this padding. Okay, so let's start coding. Uh, first, we will go to top cars view. Okay. And I'm sorry, popular brands view, I meant. Okay, and we got a padding dot horizontal, we will change it to dot leading. Okay, now if we go back to our menta bar view, it should be fixed. Yes, it was fixed and very nice now. Okay, now let's start working on this one. So let's go to top car view. And our custom car, we will put it inside the navigation link. Okay. And we will create a view that we will call it uh, new file we call it detail view okay and uh, we take this detail view and to our top car view we will call detail view Okay, nice. Hopefully now it will be working. Let's go to Metab Bar View and check it. Okay, good. It's working. The first problem is that the color became blue. So we will go back to our top car view, to our custom car view. And inside our custom car view will give it a foreground style of black dot black and and for the rating the same thing okay now if we go to our main tab bar view well it's now fixed the same the second problem is like you see we got uh, the back button and this uh, tab bar uh, if we go in the complete app we don't have a back button uh, the back button we don't have we have a custom back button and we don't have the tab bar so let's fix this problem too uh, we will start by going to back to our top car view and in detail view let dot height yes this one navigation bar back button hidden okay if we go to our main tab bar view now and click on it yes we don't have a back a back button for the toolbar also we will fix it now and uh, we will go here we will, go, we will make scroll view and we will make it dot ignore save area and let's give it toolbar this one visibility dot hidden 
for for I'm sorry for uh, this one to tab bar if we go now from main tab bar view and as you can see we don't have the tab bar view very good okay now in our detail view we will start by implementing this nice view pager so we will make tab view in tab view we give it the tab view style of dot page and we will give it a frame with the height of Right, let's make a let height uh, tab view, make it a CG float, let it have a view ice cream dot ice cream dot main dot bounds dot height divided by three and let's give it the height tab view. Okay. Then now we will make for it. Oh, uh, first, uh, sorry, we need our view model. So, add state object private var view model type explore view model. And also, we will need uh, our index private var index of type integer and as always, private uh, or at state uh, private var is favorite uh, of type boolean, and as always, we need the is favorite uh, to know if it should be fill or not. Anyway, okay. Now we need an initializer. We don't need is favorite here. In the attributes, okay. Add dot view model should get uh, okay. To the vector of value of view model and self dot is favorite. I want to give it state initial value of view model dot cars index. And dot is favored okay pretty nice and now just missing arguments we need to give it explore view model for our preview and zero now let's go to where we call our detail view i think in our top car view yes and here we will give it a view model of view model I'm sorry. and an index of index okay hopefully everything should be now working okay now Okay, I made a mistake, make it this way. Okay, now we'll make for each view model dot cars index and index and now the image name comma id dot self. image name and uh, here we will have just the image image name dot resizable and dot scale to fill okay really nice 
and it's very nice now we need to implement uh, this back button and uh, the favorite button also so to our tab view we will add an overlay okay and to our overlay we will add first a button next one and label and the label will be image with system name from our sf symbol of chevron dot left dot foreground style of white and uh, frame of with a width and height of 40 to 40 and let's give it a font of large title and why not a font weight of bold okay okay really nice we will put it inside an a stack so And inside which A stack we will make a spacer and uh, then we will have uh, our other button which is this one okay we will start first with a rounded rectangle with a corner radius of 8 we will fill it with dot white Okay, we will give it a frame of width and height the same as the other one of 40 to 40. Okay. And to this round rectangle we will make an overlay. And inside that we will make image, a system name, it will be hard for now. And of course, and we will give it a foreground style of red, of dot red. And of course, now we will go check his favorite. Uh, if his favorite is true, it will be hard dot fill. Okay. Else it will be hard. Okay. And uh, it will be inside the button so it will be a button with action and label action this one the label will be this one and the action will be just his favorite dot toggle toggle really nice now okay very good okay. our a stack we will make it embed inside the v stack and now we will add a spacer the goal is to get them to the top and now to our v stack we will give it a padding of, of dot vertical of 40 and dot horizontal of 15 I think okay I think it's really nice uh, to make this button get us back to the previous view we will make an environment at environment uh, last dot dismiss var dismiss and here inside our action we will just uh, make dismiss if we go now to our main tab bar view and okay and check our view we click on it okay we can make it favorite or not we can use pager and and we can go back okay i think very nice but as always, uh, 
like you can see I don't like the fact that we got all this code here I prefer if we make uh, uh, his own view so this tab view uh, I won't give it uh, let it here I will take this tab view with everything in it so where is the overlay where does it end okay we will get all this code we don't need it anymore we will place it inside the new view we will call it new file and 50y view we will call it image view pager okay and inside our image view pager we will pass the code we just took uh, of course we will need to have add state object private the view model of type explore view model we will also need uh, private var index of type integer and we will probably need uh, just to check uh, okay we will need also is favorite and var dismiss and let hey tab view so we will take this one and go to image page and paste it we will take this one too and paste it and we also need the is favorite i believe yes and we will also paste it we don't uh, let it here anymore we don't need it in our initializer anymore and we will paste it Okay, and when we make the initializer, okay, now we don't need the dismiss or the is favorite. Okay. Okay, this one will be state object with private value of view model. And for is favorite, we don't will be state with an initial value of view model dot cars index dot is favorite okay hopefully now everything will be working okay we need also to add the arguments to preview so Let's make explore view model and index of zero. Now everything should be working hopefully. And now if we add to the scroll view this way, image view pager, view model of view model and the index. Hopefully everything will be working fine now. Okay, and let us check it waiting for full preview and well like expected everything works well now we will implement this one the title and the rating okay and the best thing uh, to be honest is that the code is so clean you, like you see you got a scroll view inside the scroll view we got the view page we don't have that much code that may confuse you especially if it's a uh, an app where we will be maintaining in long term and you forgot sometimes what you wrote and it becomes really complex uh, this way it's always easy to maintain and really professional anyway we will now implement this so let's make a text uh, or let's make it inside of this tag uh, okay we need image view pager to be inside of this tag embed in this tag let's give it a spacing 15 and an alignment of dot leading okay we will have now another this tag and the reason why i i'm putting this inside another vstack is because I'm going to take the vstack and create uh, a view for this uh, I don't want it to be inside my body later okay we will have text uh, 
it will be view model dot cars index dot car name okay we will give it the font dot headline and font weight let's give it dot bold okay and we will have a nice tag it will be text and here we will remember for rating always we use format to yes this one it will be person dot one f and let's give it view model dot cars index dot rating okay let's give it a font of dot subheadline and a font weight of semi bold okay we will also give it a I believe uh, an image with a system name of star dot fill and we will give it a foreground style of dot orange okay really nice uh, just now we need to let's add the spacer I think for some reason okay and i need to give the vista and alignment of dot leading okay really nice and to the whole vista i will apply a padding dot padding actually okay i think it's good and just uh, i will need the spacing of, let's say 12. okay nice i think maybe oh, maybe there is no just padding dot horizontal okay and now our vstack we will make extract sub view and we make our extract sub view we will, okay we need uh, add state object private var view model type explore view model and i think also we need index private var index of type integer and we need the initializer just as always our dot view model will be state object with a wrapped value of view model Okay, and extract of them we will make refactor rename okay we will say of now let's call it car info view and we will add the missing argument I don't know why it didn't change here a little bit strange but anyway car info view and it will be with a view model index okay hopefully now everything should be working fine okay so everything is working hopefully we will check it in the main tab bar but the best thing like i said is that like you can see we got a scroll view a vista and image view page car info view and we don't have a lot of code here so it's it's easy to read and uh, we will check now the main tab bar view okay and our main tab bar view now we can enter we can see our detail view we can make it favorite not favorite if we enter the bmw that is favorite it's already you see it the heart is filled when we enter the mercedes it's not filled okay i think we did a great job here um, we are really progressing to the final project uh, 
hopefully in the next video we will be working i don't know hopefully on the trip dates maybe pick up and return and this one also so anyway as always stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye bye